Well, we've showed you how to hit the ball straight, but what if you've got a tree in your way or need to get around a dog leg? Mike Claybaugh is back to show you how to add some curve to your shots. We're going to talk about intentionally curving the ball. The scenario where we have to hit the ball left to right or we have to hit the ball right to left. Quite simply, we're going to line up our feet where we want the ball to start and align our club face with where we want the ball to end. For an intentional draw, the club face will be a little closed. For a fade or a slice, the club will be open. Let's see it in action. So we're going to hit a couple of intentional draws. For setting up, we'll have normal ball position. Our feet will be lined up where we want the ball to start. And I'm going to open the club face where I want it to end up. I'll swing along my foot line. Keep in mind when we're hitting an intentional fade, we're going to be opening up the club face and that's going to add loft. So we may want to add an extra club when we're trying to hit the fade. Conversely, for the draw, we are closing the face, de-lofting the club, so we'll want to choose a lesser club. Obviously, there's a lot of ways to deal with the swing, but if you're just looking for the basics, that's the way to get the ball to curve. Yeah, I've got the fade down. I do that pretty much every drive. Yeah. Is that an intentional slice? Or? I don't know if I call it intentional, and it's usually not, uh, it's not you know, usually anything to hook around. It just kind of goes that way, but, <laughs> but uh, it's good to know. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.